This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 314 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Kentucky Performance Products. You can visit them at kppusa.com. Hi, everybody. Glenn the Geek back with you from Lexington, Kentucky, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Well, today we have back with us my wife, Jennifer, who, as the regular listeners to the shows, knows that she is now full-time with the Horse Radio Network. She is the new producer for the morning radio show coming up on November the 1st. Yes, that'll be a full-time job. She has to make sure we have the guests and segments and everybody lined up for an hour and a half a day, every day of the week, Monday through Friday. And that starts on November the 1st with Jamie and I doing that show. should be a lot of fun. You can tune in live from 9 to 10.30 a.m. And you can go to horsesinthemorning.com or horseradionetwork.com to tune in there. We really appreciate you being part of that show and taking a listen and also calling in. We have many cool prizes that we're going to give away for the first month. We're going to pick one caller a day and give them a, a cool prize. Hopefully that hopefully you'll be part of that, and hopefully you'll win something really neat. And we thank all of our sponsors who are donating uh, prizes for that, and we really appreciate it. Well, today, as I said, we have Jennifer back with us. She does some ever-so-practical tips. We'll have her on uh, a couple of times in the next couple of weeks, uh, trying to get all caught up here from the World Equestrian Games, get some new tips recorded with some new experts. And she, her tips seem to be very popular from what I've been hearing. She does the ever-so-practical tips And we'll be right back with Jennifer right after this word from Kentucky Performance Products. All horses have individual nutritional needs, and we know that meeting them can be challenging. It doesn't matter if you are a professional horseman or a weekend warrior. You want to provide the nutrition necessary for your horse to thrive. The experts at Kentucky Performance Products understand this and have developed supplements that target specific needs. KPP's products are formulated to complement today's feeds and safeguard against over-supplementation. Best of all, their supplements work. To choose the right KPP supplement for your horse, go to kppusa.com. Or to learn more about horse nutrition and interact with the experts at KPP, join their Facebook page. Just search for Kentucky Performance Products. Well, hi, Jennifer, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Hi-ho. Good to have you on again. It's good to be sitting right beside you. Or next to you, or behind you, or in front of you. (laughs) So what's going on? What are we talking about today? Funky smells. Funky smells. Hmm. You're not referring to your husband, I hope. (laughs) um, (laughs) Because I could go take a shower quick. No, that's all right. You're good. You're good. All right, just checking. You're good. Um, We've all had the funky smelling helmet, the funky smelling um, splint boots, the... Funky smelling riding boots. It, it happens. Hello. And got some tips on how to deal with funky smelling stuff in your life at the okay. barn. Uh, first one is for inside of storage units that you keep your stuff in that are semi-sealed. Tack trunks, tack cabinets, boot bags that are closed up and really don't have any circulation in them. Things get gnarly in there in a big hurry. Um, so the cedar chips that you would buy at a pet store for bedding your small pets on. Yep. Um, the, you want the ones that are actual cedar, not the ones that have three beets of cedar and the rest is pine. You take those little buggers and you put it inside of a sack of some sort or loose if you like, and it will a help things stay fresh and b discourage tiny livestock. Okay. So that's one. Or you can use the little cedar balls that are made for shoes and closets. Yep, yep, yep. Um, being the uh, frugal to a fault person that I am, I found that the pet bedding from the pet store gets me a whole lot more cedar for my dollar. All right. So uh, so that's a great that one sense. for yep. containers of all sorts inside your cat bag and all that kind of stuff. And if your cat decides to go to the bathroom in it, you're covered. You're covered. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and the other one is for the items themselves. There's a product out there in the market called Febreze, which lots of folks are, are familiar with. And it, unlike Lysol, which kills germs and bacteria and has a strong odor because of the chemical that does the killing, Febreze is designed to specifically um, neutralize the odor at its source. It kind of chemically breaks down the odor. 
Um, and it's really handy. And there's another product on the market called Odor Side, which I personally use. I think it lasts a lot longer than Febreze does. Um, the Odor Side doesn't have any odor of its own, other than you know about 15 seconds after you spray it, you don't know it's there. Uh, most of the Febreze products also come with a scent of their own. Either or, whichever one you like, it's a really nice thing to keep around the barn. You can spray it inside your helmet. It's also a lot less expensive than the fancy schmancy helmet spray. Um, give it a quick douse inside your paddock boots before you go out to dinner with your friends. Um, your hunt coat between classes. Okay, you rode at 8 o'clock this morning. Going to hang the hunt coat in the portable stall room for the next six hours. And when you go to take it back out, you go, whoa. Well, Febreze can help you out there. And you can even spray it on the floor of your horse's stall. I actually wrote to the odor side people to see if it would be also suitable to use in a drain. Haven't heard back yet. Okay, so that's great. All right, so uh, we have odor side, we have Febreze, and we have uh, cedar chips. Got to have them all. All right, for to keep that barn smelling good. And, you know, out at our barn, though, I think there was a dead mouse or something near our tack trunk because well whew, i don't think you're going to cover that up with uh, mi- cedar chips midnight the mouser has been really busy yeah yeah and i kind of think it's stinky and i almost hate to look for it yeah i think it snuck under my cabinet. we've all had that happen be yeah. interesting to hear from people where where the stinkiest thing dead <gasps> thing they've Wouldn't found that be great oh right in everybody right into the, to, to tell us did you find yeah. one in your house was it in you know we had when i was a kid once <clears throat> we had uh hamsters like every family you know we were four boys so the, you know, my younger brother and I, we had hamsters, and the hamsters got loose once, and they ended up in the walls of the house. Ooh. And we spent half a day trying to get the hamsters out of the walls of the house. I never forget that. My mom and dad were so mad. You're still hamsters. alive, so you must have found uh, them. I know. We did find them. They finally came out of the walls of the house, but you could hear them running across the ceilings. And... Oh, your mom must have been having a cow. Oh, she was. You know my mom. She the way wasn't she into was. those <laughs> tiny livestock. Uh-uh. Well, that's fun. I think all the listeners <laughs> who hear this tip need to write in and tell us your best Stinky stories. I think that's awesome. There you go. You can, you can, of course, you can send them to Glenn with two N's at horseradionetwork.com. All right. Thank you, Jennifer, for, for joining us and for bringing up the stinky stories. Ta! Well, thank you to Jennifer. We appreciate her being here again. And, well, as I said, we'll have some more practical tips from Jennifer over the next couple of weeks. And I do appreciate her taking time to do that. And now she has to get back to work. Get back to work on horses in the morning. All right, everybody, we'll see you again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 